Hey, welcome friends. I'm Nancy Thompson with createwithnancy.com and I'm here today to share some creative ink with you all. So, um, I think I'm live and connected. There we go. We've got the notification. So I'm going to mute my phone here and technical difficulties. I had something playing in the background of my iPad and, um, and I didn't have audio. So anyway, so I'm here now and I see we have some friends joining in. So hi Shirley and Stella and Susan. Welcome guys. I haven't seen you in a while. Hello Susan. I hope you're doing well. And so today, did you all see what um, I posted a little while ago about what today's project is? Who has stamping blends? That's the question for today. Who has stamping blends and who uses them and who doesn't? Who has them just kind of sitting maybe in their drawer or whatever and does not use them to its potential? I'm I'm guilty of that too. So, um so I kind of I don't know why. Once you see today's project, you're going to be like, "Wow, Nancy, why didn't I think to do that?" Maybe you have. So, um, I'm anxious to see what you guys all think of this. So, um, let's see here. Um, we are, so it's, uh, Wednesday, February. Um, yeah, what is today? The 23rd, right? Yeah, the 23rd. And it's getting, um, we're getting closer and closer to spring, which I'm excited about. It's not too bad. It's a little chilly out there today, but not too bad. We're expecting snow in a few more days. So, Okay, so let's look. So a lot of people, Kathy Week, yeah, Kim Kim Condas. I want to say Kathy Kim Condas. She loves hers, and um, Debbie Bolello says it's her favorite coloring tool. I I love to color with them too, too and I should color with them more. And um, and Sue just got the new blends too earlier this month, and they are fabulous as well. And hi, Betty and Ellen, welcome. And Beverly, you have them and don't use them a lot. So Beverly, maybe after today, this will change your mind where you're going to be pulling out those blends and using them again. So um, yes, that's about what we're supposed to get too. Six to twelve here Friday, I think. So. And Shirley loves hers as well. Yay, I'm so glad you're using them, Shirley. Good for you. Okay, all right. So it's, I think everybody loves their blends. It's just whether we use them or not. Um, so Gail has not invested in them yet. Oh, I love that, yet. <laughs> um, maybe after today you'll find that you love them. Um, they're, they're just really cool. So. Okay, so what are we gonna do with the blends? Does anybody have any clue? So um, so I'm so glad there's so many of you here joining in today. Welcome, everybody. Okay, um, after this, I might be going live again because I've got some new software and I wanted to try it out. Um, and um, But I didn't wanna do it for the live, so I might do something quick and short because I wanna talk about Paper Pumpkin later on. So. Um, so maybe later on. So make sure you got the notification set so you know I'm going to be going live. I don't know what time or whatever. Um, I got to put dinner in the oven and then maybe I'll, I'll go live again. Okay, so what are we talking about today? Let's, um, let's, let me think here. I need to get rid of Sharon's comment here and where did it go? There we go. Let's get that off the screen. So, um, so today we're going to talk about something from the celebration catalog, okay? Um, so we're going to use the, and so we only have, I don't know, how many more days do we have left? So today's the 23rd. Um, one, two, three, four, five days left of celebration. Five, five days. So if you haven't got your free stuff, you really want to start thinking about it now and get your order placed, okay? Um, okay. So I see lots more joining in. Wow, this is, hasn't been this large in a long time. Okay, so we are going to talk about the afternoon, uh, the Daffodil Afternoon Designer Paper. I love this. Um, and now that I just kind of ex finally experimented with this paper, um, 
I want to do more with it. So let's showcase what the paper looks like so you guys get a feel of what we're using, okay? So there's uh, six, uh, six uh, papers with double-sided designs, so that's 12 designs. So we've got this. This is meant to get six cards out of there approximately. Or if you're scrapbooking or something, it could be like a two-page layout somewhere as well. Oh, thank you, Kay, for sharing. I so appreciate that. Um, and you need more blends, Betty. We all need more. Because um, if you don't use them, I think they dry out. So you got to use them. You might as well. Okay, so here's the flip side. This um, Flurry Flamingo and Pale Papaya. There's lots of colors in this paper. Now this... I love this. I love the, all these flowers on here. Doesn't that just scream spring to you? Um, and then on the back side is a nice pretty checkerboard type design with um, pale papaya and um, yeah, what's the pink in there? Flirty Flamingo. Okay. And then we've got this one too. It just looks like um, a cascade of, you know, like a whole field of um, daisies and daffodils here. They're so petite and everything. And then we've got um, a generic uh, pattern on the background, okay? And I feel like my signal's going in and out. I don't know why, but anyways, things have been wonky lately. Um, and then we've got this very leafy type, uh, bold, uh, warm background. And we've got green hearts on here. I think they're like old olive tiny hearts on there. And then this whole pattern of daffodils as well. So this is 12 by 12 paper. And then we've got this black pattern that's a little eye buggy, you know, if you look at it too long, I think. Um, and then we've got this another field of daffodils. And boy, and I've got more. We're going to be sharing this again with the last cabin fever for February. I haven't quite decided um, what I'm going to do for March yet. But um, so uh, Friday night, I'll be sharing more of this paper with some totally different ideas um, using this. And then a nice, uh, just a uh, pattern of pale papaya. It's just, um, it kind of, I don't know, it looks like... Uh, it's not really splatter, but like fabric, you know, like uh, denim would be, you know, you can kind of see like a pattern in it. So, okay, so what are we going to do? So we are going to take this design right here, and I meant to color more, but I want to see you guys to see the transformation of this paper when you use the blends. Has anybody tried this yet? I'm hoping this is new to you guys, so let's see what we can do. So look at all these blend colors. I kind of just use the colors in the paper. Of course, you can add a few others. I, I did pull in um, light cinnamon cider as well because I felt like I needed a little bit of brown in here. And, and all the rest are colors that coordinate with um, this paper. So we've got um, Flirty Flamingo. Did I do... Um, we're not using Highland Heather here today. Um, there's a uh, Old Olive here as well, Bermuda Bay, and do I have a light and dark? Um, that's light. I'm missing my Bermuda Bay here. Hang on. Um, here we go. Okay, dark Bermuda Bay, um, light and dark Bermuda Bay, Florida Flamingo, light and dark, uh, Daffodil Delight, Pale Papaya, um, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use the mint macaron, okay? So, um, I had a hard time finding you today, Deb. I'm sorry. Um, if you have the notifications on, it should pop up, you know, when you pop in. So, hopefully, you know, that's not the case. So, we're going to just simply start with, um, our light, uh, and dark daffodil delight, okay? Um, so I'm looking at the the daffodil flower here and let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more for you guys okay how's that look so zoomed in enough maybe a little bit more so that way we can you guys can actually see the paper whoop that might be a little too much there we go okay so you can see the color so this, um, and I like to use the um, blunt tip end, not the brush tip end, okay? I try to keep that when I just like want 
little whispers of color, all right? So, so I'm simply going to take um, my light daffodil and I'm gonna color in this flower, okay? And then we're gonna compare this to the original paper so you guys can see the transformation, okay? Actually, I'm gonna add some dark highlights here with the dark as well before I blend it too much. I'm really adding the highlights where the lines are. And this makes your watercoloring, your blending so easy. It looks like a professional. See how that's like really looking like it's painted and it's got the definition in it as well. And you could um, deepen up this as well. Okay, so this really is kind of a fun way to transform your designer paper. Okay, so we got that one done. And then let's just go over the center of this. And I think I'm going to just completely go over this, okay? And then let's add some darkness here. And it doesn't really take that long to do this. Um, if you love to color, this is kind of, I think, a relaxing way to kind of have fun with this as well. So let's um, let's just add in some color here, and so I'm looking to see if anybody has done this before. Respond um, if you've done this type of technique with your paper or not, your designer paper. So I kind of go and do all the the same ones that I want to do. So I've got these little flowers down in here and I'm going to accent them as well, okay? I'm just going right over top of the color. Okay, so I think we've got our daffodils done. And one thing I want to tell you about these too, always make sure your caps are on tightly, okay? Just make sure you're pushing both ends every single time that you use them. Otherwise, they're gonna dry out on you and then you're not gonna be a happy camper. And remember, these do not last forever. They're meant to be a disposable um, item. Let's start with a little bit of um, dark highlight here. Just gonna kinda do a few wispies around the center here, okay? And then I'm gonna take the light. This is Flirty Flamingo. And we're just going to fill in these petals here. And I'm gonna to try to push where I did the highlights to push it out a little bit. So um, it softens up that edge that I just uh, put on there as well. Um, oh, I missed some yellow flowers up here. Okay, so um, isn't this looking really, really cool? And we're not even done yet. Wait till you see when we are done coloring everything, okay? Isn't that just beautiful? Okay, um, do I have anything else? I think not. Well, I'm gonna go back to this center and we're gonna color over this. Look how much deeper this is now. I love it. Okay, so as long as we're doing deep, I'm gonna go over these as well. Let's add some color. And this is with the dark flirty flamingo, okay? Now it's gonna be hard for me to watch comments in color at the same time, so I can stay in the line. So, so Deb has with some black and white papers, but yes, this is a totally new way to transform that designer paper. And anybody can really do this. This is great for young children to play and color with, um, you know, as long as it's not too detailed. But this is like a perfect, see how this is like totally changing color? I love this. We're going to color this down here. And it's really whatever you decide to do. There's no right or wrong way to color, you know. You just want to try to get similar colors of what you're doing so it's kind of the same. All right, so I see we missed part of um, Daisy down here. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And let's just add a few highlights in here. All right, let's see. Whoops, I'm gonna add some highlights here too. Um, okay, that looks good. And let's go back and do these little 
tiny flowers. There we go. All right. Um, so what else do we want to do? Let's pull in some pale papaya now. And um, let's uh, add some to these outer edges because this is pale papaya here. Okay, we've got that one. And then you kind of like turn things around and you might see a whole different view. Got some up here. So see how quick this is? It's not, there's a lot of color in here and it's not really that hard to do. So I'm doing like the dark pale papaya right now. And let's add, I got like a little bit of here. So let's add a little bit of white there. And I think we're almost done. We're gonna turn in, um, pull in the Bermuda Bay. Now I'm using the light. Since these are such deep colors, you wanna kind of maybe experiment on a little scrap to see if you want the darker or the um, lighter. I'm going with the light because I felt like it was um, deep enough. So we're gonna do these little tiny flowers. Look how they really make them pop here. Let me make sure I'm in the view here for you guys. Um, these really, um, going over these with a whole new color really makes them pop with everything else there let's turn this you guys can keep seeing the paper here okay let's see okay um what else we need to color we need to do the inside i think i'm going to do um i'm going to go with on um, these here um the light cinnamon cider just to add a little bit of texture different color we'll do the cinnamon cider here and here let's go up here and let's do the center of these little tiny bermuda bay flowers okay what do you guys think do you love this let me move it a little bit closer isn't that like just like really amazing um um let's see um so let's look at, let's compare how these look with the original paper, okay? Let me grab a sheet here so we can kind of put this onto here. Okay, I don't know if, if you can kind of see the difference. I'm looking to see where this design would be, but I'm thinking it's about, I don't know where this design would be. Um, right up here, really. I think it's up here in the corner. Yeah, that's it right there. Can you see the difference? I don't know if that helps you guys see the difference there of what it looks like um, design-wise, you know? So it's just like, I think it really kind of transformed it. All right, so how are we gonna finish this card? Very easily. So what I've done was, I'm doing kind of like the same thing, okay? Let's pull out some colored cardstock. So this is where you guys can, um, let's zoom back out again so you guys can see things. So you're gonna need to help me decide what color are we gonna mat this on. I need to like move these blends totally out of the way here. Okay. And so I'm gonna just kind of put this here. So we've got Flirty Flamingo, okay. And then we have um, Bermuda Bay. So there's that one. Should I zoom in again? Um, much more vibrant with the saturated color. It is. Um, here is um, Pale Papaya on there. And I don't think Macaron, but we'll check it out. Um, so what do you guys think? So we've got mint macaron. Maybe I'll go like this. So you guys can see, um, Bermuda Bay or pale papaya. Will this help you guys? If I go like this, I don't know if that helps. You kind of distinguish that. Okay. So 
Um, so what do you think? Um, Bermuda Bay because there isn't much in the designer paper. Okay, so I'm seeing Bermuda Bay. We're going to go with Bermuda Bay. It does make it pop a little bit, Colleen. There. Yeah, we'll go with Bermuda Bay. Good, because I'm excited because I, I was hoping somebody would change something. But before we start that, um, let's do something with our ribbon, okay? We have this gorgeous in color ribbon that will be soon to retire. And it's, this is a great way to transform your ribbon. So um, this is a soft succulent, okay? We need um, eight inches approximately. So let's do that. And there's no necessary to color all the way to the end. So we're gonna take our blends, okay? I'm going to use the dark one and this time I'm going to use the brush tip. Now this does um, wear at your brush tip doing this, just an FYI, okay? Especially if you do it a lot because you know it's texture against some texture. So it could get a little bristly or whatever. So if you always have one, you know, like um, one where the tip is really bad or whatever, um, or maybe th maybe this end isn't is dry and this end is wet, save it for doing things like this. So I don't need to go to the very end because we end up going to trim this anyway. So I'm going to just start here and I'm going to rub this down my ribbon. Try to keep your, um, keep it flat along the edge. Don't be going like this because that definitely will ruin your tip. Okay. Look at that. Look how that transformed that ribbon into, um, a beautiful Bermuda Bay color. We have custom ribbon here in the house today. Okay, so um, so here we've got that. Isn't that just gorgeous? And it's going to look really, really nice with this cardstock. So let's just set that aside for a minute and let it dry. Okay, I mean it doesn't take long for the alcohol to dry, so that's totally fine. And just remember, look at how this bled through. Um, and it did kind of bleed through even here on my placemat. So here's another tip. Are we keeping track of tips today? Maybe that's at least tip number three. Um, to always have something underneath your um, whatever you're working on so it doesn't bleed through like onto maybe your um, special table top or you're working on you know, a tablecloth, whatever. So always have a piece of scrap paper there as well, okay? All right, so any questions so far, everyone? And I so appreciate you guys joining in. Um, so we have, so uh, have, are you, does everybody have this paper as well? Who doesn't have this paper and needs it now? Because if so, there's only a few more days left to grab it. I'm wishing I had gotten more. So, um, just remember, you can. Um, here's my host code, current host code, that you can order any product between now and um, you need a to get this for free. You need a fifty dollar qualifying order. Look at that! Isn't that just fabulous? So we're gonna mount this onto um, crumb cake, and I've started like pre-scoring my cardstock lately. I've been enjoying it so much more. Um, it definitely does make a difference. I don't know, I just uh, happened to start doing it. But I still check the ends to make sure they're level and still use my bone folder to give it a really nice um, uh, crease on it. Hey, we're built, Roberta, thank you for joining in. Um, I, I don't know whether the weather is really snowy out your way or not. So um, thanks for tuning in today. And welcome. Okay, so we're gonna take this and let's um, let's add some dimensionals to it, okay? And then we'll just add this to our Bermuda Bay. So today's greeting is gonna come from the Special Moments uh, stamp set. And you know I've been using that a lot because it's celebration and it's another celebration choice here. Okay, are we looking good? Actually, this could be fine by itself without putting anything on the front. This would make like a really great note card for somebody um, to have, okay? So before, we're gonna dress up the inside, okay? So we're gonna just take Simply Vanilla and Bermuda Bay and get that double layered effect. 
and I will have the measurements of all these supplies on my blog post I think tomorrow um, it should be up by tomorrow and here we go so and I'm gonna keep it plain inside because I think some of my team members are gonna get some of these cards um, this month so and that way they can utilize it any which way they want to okay isn't that kind of nice in there so if you did have like a leftover scrap of designer paper or if you wanted to use the coordinating daffodil stamp set you could um, stamp something in there as well so um, we'll be coloring some soon <laughs> okay yay Ellen Ellen is going to be coloring soon with hers Okay, hey Linda, I didn't see you pop in. Welcome, lost me. I know, my internet's been a little bit wonky here. I don't know why. Um, it's been weird. Okay, so let's add a greeting to this. So I'm using um, the tailor, it's, yeah, it's the tailor-made dies, tags, tailor-made tags. I love these, these are great because you've got two different, um, actually I have two packages because I cut a lot of labels and I uh, I don't want to be messing around. <laughs> when I crank up through the machine, I want to be able to get several because I usually use more than, um, you know, I need several the same size. So um, these are great to have. So, um, and I love these a lot and I hope they don't go away anytime soon. Okay, so we are going to stamp our words on here and... Because this is going to go to a team member. Um, what does it say? Um, I just, um, just a card to say you're amazing. Okay. And I have amazing team members. Actually, we just, um, they just finished up a couple challenges in our team group that we had going on. Some team challenges. So we, um, they had a challenge using the New Horizons designer paper. So that's been fun to see all their creativity going on in our team group that we have um, and what they've been sharing. So that's been fun. All right, so just a card to say you're amazing. Great, great um, uh, word set from the Special Moments dies, which are, I don't know if I have that here. It's a celebration set. Yeah, here we go. There's lots of great words in here. And I love that there's different sizes as well. Because you don't always need like a big thing. You sometimes want that petite saying for the front of your card. Okay. All right. So let's add this to the front of our card. And you still haven't seen everything that I have to share with you. So I've got some samples. A couple more samples to share. And wait till you see what I did to the envelope. It's, it's really special. Okay, we're gonna just add, um, and this is where you wanna kinda look at the paper to figure out where you want your tag um, to be. Okay, so let's, um, let's make a bow. Um, if you're new, I simply have this hair pick that I use and about eight inches of ribbon, and I'm simply gonna bring it across, up and around, and then I go down through the center tine grab it from behind and bring it up through and tie a single knot. That's it. Simple. This is the fork bow technique. So if you have like, if you don't have one of these hair picks or something similar, you could use like a big meat fork or something. And then I just really pull it really tight every which way. So the knot's tight and it just slides off and you have like a perfect, perfect bow. So let's add that with a glue dot here. Glue dots are our best friends. And I'm going to just set it in that hole there. Okay. There we go. Simple and easy. And then um, trim our ends here. However long you want them and very little waste. Okay, so we need some bling, don't we? Um, so let's pull in these gorgeous brushed brass butterflies. Those are still a tongue twister for me. Um, let's just check comments here and see. 
So let's, um, hopefully everybody's doing okay. All right. So I'm going to just put a single brass butterfly. I think that's just like plenty. What do you guys think? I think just that single butterfly is like perfect. I still want to go do a lot more coloring. I, I colored a lot of samples last night. Um, and it was just kind of fun, you know, other than every movie I wanted to watch, I really needed to watch the captions on it because I have been watching these foreign films lately. Anyway, so, all right. So let's look at the envelope for this. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that like so much fun to kind of, what a difference. Um, do I have any paper here that's cut? Let me see here. I think, do I have more? I don't. I thought I had like a skinny piece. Here we go. Boy, when you like, look at that envelope. Can you kind of see the difference there? on how that yellow just kind of makes it pop. I, I just think, and even the card, look at those. I'm just mesmerized by this and I'm like, wow. So now I'm like looking at our designer paper and seeing what I could use to color with our blends. So I'm hoping this inspires you, but let's look at the other samples. And um, you could use Wink of Stella. You definitely could use some Wink of Stella on it, but I would have a hard time figuring out which one to add Wink of Stella to because that's a lot of winking. <laughs> okay, so here's this one. Hey, do I have everything kind of out of the shot here? Let's make sure you guys can see everything. Let's look at our samples. This is one we made today. This one I did last night. And you can see the different layers of cardstock that I use. So I don't think you really can go right or wrong with anything, you know. Um, here I did a little, so I kind of like matched up that one a little bit. And this one kind of with that a little bit more. So they all just kind of, I don't know, they look fun. Um, so there's those. So let's look at the tiny... Um, flowers that we have here okay so here's these look at that isn't that just like this is with flirty flamingo so i did um the the daffodils all in daffodil delight um and then we use then i use flirty flamingo on the little ones so the friendly hello dsp works great okay ellen you'll have to share some ideas with us and then here's the matching envelope. Isn't that just spectacular? Oh, I can't wait to send these. And then let's look at the Bermuda Bay. I think the Bermuda Bay looks striking to me. Um, it just, uh, the black and the Bermuda Bay just kind of pops to me. And here I did the um, the ribbon again. And I also colored the flir Flirty Flamingo as well and if you want your pale papaya you could even deepen that up a little bit more if you really wanted that done a little bit more as well i almost kind of wish i had made this flirty because this is so pronounced but that's okay anyway so that's what i have to share with you today so i just want to remind you that here's my host code okay and um let's see here and let's see and also don't forget um that when you do place a 50 dollar um uh, purchase that um let's whoops i'm pushing the wrong buttons that you're also going to get this um february pdf tutorial bundle for free i email it to you or you can purchase it for twenty dollars as well so lots of great ideas in the february bundle there'll be a new one coming out in march as well and um let's see and don't forget we'll be talking watch for me to go live here tonight sometime about the march paper pumpkin kit I've, you're going to want to watch this. If you haven't um, been paid attention to Paper Pumpkin before, you're going to want to um, hear about the, the benefits of this month's uh, Paper Pumpkin Kit. And especially if you love the New Horizons designer paper that I showcased all last week. Because this the two go hand in hand and it's just perfect together. So 
thank you everybody for tuning in and I so appreciate you um, for sharing with me and don't forget um, Friday night is another cabin fever Friday um, at 730 on YouTube okay and hopefully I've got things down pat a little bit more so okay have a, nice, a great couple of days and hope to see you Friday or later on in just a little bit bye bye